Hello everyone. In continuation with the inverse Laplace transform, we'll be dealing today with the part two, which is the in, uh, inverse Laplace transform using the convolution theorem. So by the end of the session, we'll be able to evaluate the ILT using the convolution theorem. So find the inverse Laplace transform of this. Okay, one upon s plus one into s square plus one. So f of s is this. Now let us change this f one of s as one upon s square plus one, which is f one t as sin t and f2 as 1 upon s plus 1, f2 as e to the power minus t. You would come to know the difference whenever we go ahead with that. So this is the formula for the inverse Laplace transform. You can say the convolution theorem here. And therefore, it is 0 to t sin of u into e to the power minus t minus u du. Actually, there is no difference in collecting or in selecting this f1 and f2. You could have just done the reverse way as i have told you that is they are they are commutative like f1 of t uh, and f2 of t they always so this convolution always commutes so whenever if we'll take f1 uh, f1 as e to the power minus t and f2 as sine of t still your answer would remain the same sine of u e to the power minus of t minus u du so now uh, again as i have told you this u is the variable and therefore this t becomes a constant Therefore, by solving this, this would be e to the power uh, u minus t sine of u du. Now, if you'll observe, this is this is the formula which are, you have already solved this few questions based on this. So, integration e to the power ax sine of bx dx is e equals to e to the power ax upon a square plus b square a times sine of bx minus b times cos of bx. Now, as I have told you, this t is a constant. So, this t would come out. So, e to the power minus t is out. And now if you compare these two equations, so what is the value of small a? The value of small a is 1 and value of small b is also 1 here in this particular example. And therefore, e to the power ax that is e to the power u upon a square plus b square that is 1 square plus 1 square that is 2 over here. And a sine of bx that is 1 sine of minus b that is again 1 cos of u. Integration from 0 to Again, every u would be replaced as t minus every u would be replaced as 0. So, after doing that, upper limit would give me every u would be replaced as t. So, e to the power t sin t minus cos of t plus 1. For this plus 1, whenever I am putting sin of u here, sin of u that is sin of 0, this term would give me 0, right? And e to the power 0 would give me 1. So, it's, it's a half, right? Half minus cos of 0 is 1. So minus minus becomes here plus here and therefore this is e to the power minus t by 2 and therefore if you observe this is the final answer for this particular question. This is These examples are extremely simple provided you should be able to last time also I have told you the same way. If at all you are going wrong somewhere in the beginning then of course the entire entire question will collapse. Okay find the inverse Laplace transform of s upon s square plus 1 s square plus 4 here then f1 is 1 upon s square plus 1 and the inverse of this is sine of t. f2 is s upon s square plus 4 inverse is cos of 2t. So, if you will observe this combination here is sine and cos. So, this is the convolution formula. Then sine u cos of 2 into t minus u du. Now, this is the trigonometric formula we will be using it. Sine of a into cos of b which is equals to 1 by 2 times sine of a minus b plus 1 by 2 times sine of a plus b. Now a capital A is this case is u capital B is 2 into t minus u. Accordingly the formula goes as this. Okay so just a minute let me just erase this. Yeah so I just write down that somewhere else so that you will not get confused because we wanted to use that again. We just make the pen over here. Yes. Okay. So here capital A is equals to U. Capital B is equals to uh, 2T minus 2U. And accordingly, uh, if you will observe the sign of 2T minus U, that is this A minus B over here because it is a uh, U minus of 2T minus 2U would give me 2T minus u sin of 3u minus 2t du and then just the integrations integration of sin would give me minus cos 
टू टी माइनस यू एंड बिकॉज दिस यू इज द वेरिएबल एंड देर फोर डिवाइडेड बाई दिस माइनस ऑफ वन हियर इन द डिनोमिनेटर अगेन दिस साइन इज माइनस ऑफ कॉस थ्री यू माइनस टू टी डिवाइडेड बाई दिस को इफिशियंट इज थ्री जीरो टू टी पुटिंग द अपर लिमिट एंड द लोअर लिमिट सो एवरी टी वुड बी रिप्लेस सो एवरी यू सॉरी एवरी यू वुड बी रिप्लेस एज टी हियर एंड एवरी माइनस every u would be replaced as zero so if i am replacing so this is nothing but if you we'll observe this is minus minus becomes plus here similarly this is minus so this minus remains here 1 by 3 so cos of 2t minus u and then we'll put the upper and the lower limit so if we'll put upper limit here every u has been replaced as t so it's cos of t minus 1 by 3 times cos of t minus this every u replaced by zero would give us Minus one by three times cos of two t would give us one by two times two by three cos of t minus two by three times cos of two t, and therefore after simplification you will get this as one by three times cos of t minus cos of two t as this answer. Clear? Okay. Then find the inverse Laplace transform of one upon s square plus four the whole square. So if you we'll observe, this is the f one of s and f two of s is one upon s square plus one because it's a square here. And therefore, f one, f two is same as one by two times sine of two t. Again, the convolution formula will give us one by two sine of two u into one by two times sine of two times t minus u. So every t here in the function f one getting replaced as t has been replaced as u, and the next time f two of t minus u t has been replaced as t minus u du, and therefore it's one by four times zero to t sine of two u. Sine of two times t minus u du. Now again, this is the formula for uh, two times sine of a into sine of b, which is equals to cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b, right? And there because we don't have this two, so that is the reason we are, we will just take it in the denominator here. So cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b divided by two, right? And that is what. So if you'll observe here, capital A is equals to two u. And capital B is equals to two t minus two u, and accordingly this formula, and therefore it's one by eight. As I have told you, thus this two will come down here. So one by four into one by two would give us one by eight here, and this cos of four u minus two t minus cos of two t du. Now again, if you we'll observe this t here, we have got just t here, two t. There is no u, and therefore cos of two t will act it here as a constant with respect to u, and therefore the integration for this cos of two t is. Cos of two t into u, right? And this cos of four u minus two t, the integration for this is sine of four u minus two t divided by this constant of constant, or you can say the coefficient of u is divided by this coefficient of u. Integration zero to t, putting the upper limit and the lower limit, and then just adjusting, you will get this desired answer. Because it's just a uh, just again as I as I as I'm uh, telling you, if you are, if you want to practice. You have to pause the video in between, whatever, because I have already explained you two questions before, so it's almost similar. Okay, so this is what is the final answer for this particular question. This is the self-observation slide, and this three questions along with the three answers. Try honestly get the answers. If at all any any query, please write me in the comment box so that I could answer you all. Thank you. Happy learning.